It's the Dan Patrick Show. Mike Florio filling in for Dan, who's in London. Another guy who's in London. Swimmer, Ryan Lochte, joining us now. Ryan, hello. Welcome to the show, and happy birthday. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, is birthday cake on the swimmer's diet? Of course. <laughs> now, if, if you had a race tonight, would you be eating cake today? Um, actually, yes, I probably would, just because it is my birthday. So, you know, you got to celebrate somehow. Now that your part of the Olympic Games has ended, what? How do you feel? Is it relief? Is it depression? What? What? What's just your overall emotion? Well, uh, I mean, I'm happy. Uh, I'm coming home to my country with five Olympic medals, and I couldn't be more happier about that. But um, at the same time, you know what? I had some ups and downs uh, this Olympics. Um, I had some swims that I thought and wished I could have done better. But you know what? You got to take the bad in with the good and the good in with the bad. Ryan, you just got to keep moving forward. What letter grade would you apply to your performance in the Olympics? Um, hmm, I would say about A-. minus. And I, mean, I always try to be an A student. And, well, what, what were your own expectations <laughs> for just coming in? A+, A+++? Plus, A plus plus? Uh, my expectations? Yes. Uh, yeah, probably A plus, plus, plus. What do you think in <laughs> 20... <laughs> plus, plus. What do you think in 2016? You'll be 32 then or 31, depending upon when the games start. You've already said you're coming yep. back. What are your expectations going to be then? How many events are you going to participate in? Um, that's, that's a long ways to think of what events I'm going to be swimming, but I can tell you this, that I'm not going to just pick one or two events. I'm going to swim. Um, I'm going to try to swim more events. How much time will you take off after the Olympics before you're back in the pool? Um, I'm probably a good solid three weeks. And, <laughs> what, and, then, and then it's right back at it. You've got competitions and you've got to stay uh, ready to go. When 2016 rolls around and you're back in Rio and you're ready to go, do you think Michael Phelps is going to be in the pool at all? Um, that's, honestly, that's a question you might have to ask him. Uh, he said he's going to retire. Um, and you know what? He might retire for a year or two or forever. Uh, but he could also come back at any time. But we'll definitely see. I mean, we've seen plenty of swimmers that retired and then they just missed it so much that they wanted to come back. Do you want him in the pool when you're at Rio in 2016? Oh, of course. I mean, uh, he's the toughest competitor I've ever went up against. So, I mean, I always get excited when I have to go up against him just because he's one of the greatest in the world. I saw a piece on you during the NBC coverage, and we're wrapping up with Ryan Lochte, who has 11 career medals, five gold, great performance in London. But I understand you're a bit of a sneakerhead, and I have to ask that question because my son is. <laughs> How many, how many total pair do you have? Because I'm trying to brace myself for how many are going to be falling out of the closet at my house eventually. Oh, um, I was about to say 130, but I just got told in my ear that they actually counted it. It's 175 pairs of shoes. I, that's not the answer. I wanted to hear 15. That's, that's, where, where do you keep... Where do you, where, you, you shoot... Your, your shoes take up more space than your medals. Where are all the medals you've won in, in London so far? Um, right now, they're under my mattress in the village, in my bed. Is the door locked? <laughs> uh, yes, it is. We make sure our door's locked because not only my medals, but in our living area, we have um, a couple other swimmers that have Olympic medals, too. Do they ever get mixed up? Is your name etched on the back? How do you know whose is whose? Uh, I mean, we keep it to ourselves. I mean, we don't mix and match, and we pretty much know what we've won. Hey, Ryan, happy <laughs> birthday. Congratulations. Great performance, uh, and uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you again in 2016 in Rio.